What's up guys and welcome back to our WWF 1988 series in TEW. We are going to keep going and run our first King of the Ring. One thing I have turned is I've turned down the TNA levels for our product just so I don't have to book terrible Attitude Era women segments every show because, you know, attitudes to women have changed a lot in the last, like... 20 years and I don't like booking those kind of things. So, yeah, we're just gonna leave this. But we know what we are gonna have, we're gonna have our first quarter final match right here, where uh, The Rock defeats X-Pac in 1755 by pinfall. A match of great wrestling and good heat getting a 78. Our next one, Triple H defeats Dustin Runnels. Dustin Runnels will approve of these uh, new changes. Um, and 9.42 by pinfall with an Ace Crusher getting an 83 rating. Jeff Jarrett loses to Dan Severn in 12.13 by submission, getting a 75. Ken Shamrock loses to Owen Hart by submission via sharpshooter after Owen Hart blatantly cheats. Oh, that scumbag. So there we go, so we'll have the semi-finals after this match, and that will be, let me see, let me try to remember, it will be Owen Hart versus Triple H and Dan Severn versus The Rock, so make sure to predict who you think is going to win the whole tournament, and, you know, you might be right, and you'll win a fabulous prize, asterisk no prize. Uh, but anyway, our first non-tournament match, we have a Fatal 4-Way match. Between the well, the four people that made up Kai and Tai, and it's uh, various incarnations, and in a match that had subpar wrestling and a little heat, that's a shame. Sakamichinoku defends his title successfully against Funaki, Men's Teo, and Dick Togo when he defeats Dick Togo by the Michinoku Driver 2. So there we go, another uh, successful defense for Taka. We have our first semi-final in a superb match. Triple H defeats Owen Hart in 2023 by pinfall with a pedigree. Because that's the proper name for pedigree for some reason. I need to change it so it's just a pedigree. Following interference from Ken Shamrock. Oh, so that rivalry is not finished yet. You're going to see more, more Owen Hart, Ken Shamrock. And that'll be fun. I guess an 83. Uh, but they had good, great wrestling and good heat. The Rock defeats Dan Severn in 9.26 by pinfall. Saving us the final of The Rock versus Triple H. So I hope you're all excited for that. That'll be straight after this match, I believe. A uh, decent match. The New Age Outlaws defeat D'Lo Brown and Kama Mustafa in 16.23. When Billy Gunn defeats Kama Mustafa by pinfall by pile driver. That makes them have defense number one. Of their world tag team titles. That gives us a 76B minus rating. Then get a video hyping up our King of the Ring final, showing our two finalists' path to the to the um to the you know title match. Not title match, you know what I mean. To the final. That's that's what a normal person would say in English. And then in about the had superb wrestling and great heat. The Rock defeats Triple H in 2516 by pinfall. We also had Mark Henry come out and he attacked Triple H, helping The Rock win. So, oh, Rock wins, but he doesn't win. You know, he has to cheat to win. What a scumbag. Let's handle those changes. Let's turn Mark Henry. Terms of complete success. Very good. There you go. The Rock wins the King of the Ring. A yeah, video played hyping Austin versus Kane in yeah, 94. Actual match itself gets an 85, not bad, an exceptional match. Kane defeats Steve Austin in 1824. When Austin's busted open after being distracted by Paul Bearer, he wins the WWF World Heavyweight Championship. So there you go, Kane wins his first world title. And his first title belt full stop. So there you go, good on Kane. And he has pretty good chemistry with Austin, that's good to know. Uh, they don't like being in a hardcore match, but what can you do? Then we get a, a promo video for our main event, which is Mankind vs Undertaker and Hell in a Cell. So we hype that up a bit. 
They are main event, holy crap, our main event in an exceptional match. That's an understatement. The Undertaker defeats Mankind in a, in a Hell in a Cell match in 2456 by pinfall with the Joke Slam. And yes, Foley does do the crazy bump off the cell. There you go, a 97A star rating. Holy crap. That is a good rating and a good match. So there you go, the Undertaker wins. And Mankind, holy crap, that was a really good show. Let's see what our overall rating is. Overall rating in 93, popularity up in 36 regions. Who are we going to congratulate? Mankind, the Undertaker. We're going to get a lot of praise. In fact, we're going to tell them both they're awesome, because that was a bloody good rating. They got us, and who else got a really good rating? Um... You know what, we're going to give Kane a compliment, because, you know, that's his first world title match, and he put on a pretty good match. So there we go, here's a picture of Just Incredible, here's a picture of Super Calo. Isn't that exciting? Let's quickly load into this, ah, here we go, Wrestler of the Year so far is Kane. What? <laughs> I wasn't expecting Kane. Oh no, the Asian financial crisis is ruined. Is worse than seriously. Kane is the wrestler of the year so far. All right, I'll allow it. Um, company of the year so far is All Japan. Tag team of the year is Mano, Manami, to Toyota, and Jaguar. Yokota. Match of the year is Austin and Undertaker versus Kane and Mankind. Show of the year is King of the Ring '98. Good. Uh, young wrestler of the year is Kidman. Oh, I wish I could have Kidman right now. Oh, he's so good. Veteran Wrestler of the Year is Tenryu. Female Wrestler of the Year is Manami Toyota. And Savio Vegas left the WWF. Let's see, we finished last in the National Battles. Goddamn National Battles. Oh, do I want to bring in Mike Awesome? Right now. I kind of want to, but I'll wait, I think. Oh, I forgot to check our buy rate for King of the Ring. There you go, 750,000 people bought King of the Ring. Well, just over that. How many people bought um, whatever WCW's crappy show was? Uh, wow, we completely decimated a great American bash. Look at that main event, and we outdrew it with bloody Mankind and Undertaker. That'll put a lot of butts in the seats. There you go, that'll do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you want to see other stuff I do, hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!